So, audio okay? Okay. Camera rolling? Rolling. Okay. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to Rare Talk from MNK Studio Dubai. Today is special edition. This is a first episode for uh, Rare Talk, uh, edi uh, special edition for musician. And then, uh, thank you so much for, we have Arkham here. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so ah. much. So kind, very kind. <laughs> I'm just surprised because when I text him, guys, I have to like, oh my God, his answer or not? His <laughs> answer or not? <laughs> But you know, he's so humble and then he said, okay, let's plan. <laughs> But you know, full of schedule. It is. It is it's been a very busy season. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm supremely grateful that we're doing yes. a lot of things. But um, for me, it's always important to do things that, you know, that I, I believe in. So it's one of the things that I, I do ah. believe in. So I, I really want to get involved in it. So thank you for having me. Thank you so much for your time, for joining us today. Not at all, not at all. Uh -huh. Okay, I come. A lot of my followers, a lot of my subscribers for my YouTube channel, they always say, ah, please interview uh, that guy who is your posting before. Uh, have a single, a single is uh, leaving. <laughs> yes. So, but now it just surprised me. It's like an Arkham as um, uh, Abri brothers. <laughs> Abri is my brother, yeah. Yeah. Abri, Abri or Hamdan, as I call him, is my brother. <laughs> uh, Abri is the first one or you? No, he's the first. He's, oh, he's, he's older than first. me, yeah. He's older than you? He's older than me, yeah. Oh, but he's look young, yeah. He looks younger, yeah. <laughs> he looks younger. Even I say that. He looks younger. <laughs> but uh, his name is Hamdan. I don't understand people call him Arbi. And sometimes I get confused. But his name is Arbi, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Arkham. So, uh, let's start off uh, by talking about your music. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what genre or type of your music uh, do you make? Uh, I like to say I make soul music. Mm -hmm. When I say soul music, it doesn't necessarily mean the genre of soul, but it means mm -hmm. music that moves yourself, that moves okay. emotions. It's yep. not about music that makes you dance. Yep. Um, I think that's always easier to do. But music that makes you feel something, mm -hmm. I think is always harder to do and something that we need in this day and age. Yeah. So my music is the music that I've, I believe mm -hmm. makes you feel something. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of music I like to do. Okay, what's inspired you to make a music? What's inspired me? Yes. That's that's actually a long story. Don't don't say your brother. No, uh, well, <laughs> no. I, I would lie if I said he wasn't involved in, in the and in, it wasn't a factor in that inspiration. Yeah. Of course, he was. Um, my mm. dad's a musician as well. Um, my brother's a musician. Yeah. Um, I I now am a musician. Mm. Um, but I think my inspiration is is my mother, who's not a musician. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, I think it's also about the fact that we all have to leave something behind. Mm -hmm. And it's, for me, it's about legacy. It's about, you know, leaving something that we believe in. Yep. And if you believe in purpose, yeah. um, you have to be something that, that, that you can leave behind that, that you're satisfied with, yep. you know? Because yeah. one day, if that does happen, I mm -hmm. want to be able to be satisfied and say, I left something behind that's beautiful. Yes. And for me, that's my music. Yes. And that's why I leave everything with a message. Every song has a message. Yeah. From leaving to growth to heavy to every song I made as mm -hmm. a message. So I believe that we have to leave something behind. And that's that's the beauty of music for us. It ha has a long, long time for us. Beautiful. Okay. So, you know, some people like uh, coming be, be as a musician, they uh, have a big dream for like uh, be as a musician, uh, um, of course, coming be as fame. So what do you think about? I, I think if you look for fame and not making music, then I think it's, it's, it's in this day and age, especially mm -hmm. with reality TV shows, yes. with all these different things, you know, I don't want to name any reality TV shows, but let's talk yeah. about the idea of fame mm -hmm. and not about actually being an, a, a person with integrity. Yep. 
it's a lot of this, a lot of those issues now. Yeah. Um, social media influences, etc. We don't yeah. have integrity anymore. Yeah. So we're, we're leaving such a bad taste for the youngins, yeah. for the youth yeah. to see that. And they, and they believe that this is the way to, to, to lead our lives. It's yeah. not. So for me, it's not about the fame. For me, it's about making a difference. That's true. The fame comes with that. Exactly. I don't enjoy fame. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not famous. <laughs> but I, I don't enjoy fame. I don't enjoy the idea of fame. I, I, I like my privacy. I like mm-hmm. to be on my own. I like to be, you know, I'm very, I'm a very conservative person in the sense that I like to be in my own space. Okay. But it comes with it. So for me, when I, I do have that opportunity to, to share something with somebody, okay. I try to make it positive as possible. Yeah. I try to see everybody as well as possible. Yeah. You know, everybody. Uh, so for me, that's that's my idea of fame is to be as positive as possible. But um, I don't want to be famous. I don't want to. I don't want fame. You are already or you don't want to be? <laughs> I know. I don't want fame. I think fame is such a hard burden. It's such mm. a burden. It's such a burden. Imagine yeah. every time you go out, they, they, you know, the question, oh, what he's wearing or what he's doing. I don't want that. I'm very comfortable in, you know, <laughs> sometimes I'm in my jelly beer. Sometimes I'm in, I'm in shorts. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't need those questions. I feel like sometimes I just want to be comfortable. Yep. Um, so for me, it's not about fame. It's more about the, the direction of, of, of um, um, positivity that you want to create. Yeah. And I think that's what matters. Yeah. Everything else is a side effect. That's true. So being so fame is a bonus for your career, right? True, very yes. true, yeah, very true. Uh, Just do something honestly, and then if people love your music, and then you can come and be as a fame person, right? Fair enough. Yeah, yeah that's the truth. This is fair. Okay, can you tell us a bit about uh, your creative process? Um, I think I have different ways to be creative. Mm. Um, I've um, I found that being in nature, like okay. being in, in, in environment, like uh, I live in, in, in Merdiv Park, mm-hmm. you know, Merdiv area. Um, there's a park there, and there's mm-hmm. also Mushuf Park, which is which is the I think one of the biggest conservation areas in mm-hmm. in, in in Dubai, okay. uh, in the city of Dubai. So I, I like to walk in, in Merdiv. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like to walk in Mushuf Park, and I find that being in nature sort of grounds me. Okay. A little bit more, and I found that most time most of the songs I made, mm-hmm. I made while I was walking. You know, I was just walking towards you know um, wherever I was going. So that for me is is my creative process. And sometimes I do work um, uh, creating the tunes first, creating the chords, mm-hmm. and then I work uh, creating the lyrics behind that. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I just create the lyrics while I'm walking, and mm-hmm. I create you know melodies, etc. And mm-hmm. then I build the the chords behind that. So for me, it's really about, I think, first grounding myself, understanding, you know, where mm-hmm. I'm at, what I'm trying to express. Mm-hmm. And then everything comes together. It just falls falls in place. Nice. So for me, it's, it's, I think that's my process. Ah, that's perfect. <laughs> so tell tell us a bit about uh, leaving. leaving. What the story about? Leaving is a, actually, actually is a very personal song. It's yes. a song really that um, it was conceptualized. Mm-hmm. Um, a discussion I had with my sister uh-uh. initially, yeah, on, on my sister. And uh, um, we had a discussion. I was like, you know what, maybe, you know, mm-hmm. uh, maybe I need to, you know, just head out and do something different. Mm-hmm. And so the, that was the idea of leaving. Mm-hmm. And then it became a love song. Yeah. But it wasn't really a love song to begin with. It was more really um, a translation of an emotion I was feeling with my mm-hmm. sister. Um, and she's, she's, yeah, she's, she's an amazing person. But sometimes I feel like maybe I'm... I'm not the best brother. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm, I'm nice. being very honest. Yeah, maybe I'm not the best brother, and sometimes I feel like you know, I can do things better. Oh, so now you have uh, one brother and one sister. I do. Yeah, I have a oh, brother and okay. sister. Yeah, yeah. and uh, my brother, my sister, my mother. They, these are my hearts. You know, this, yeah. this is they're, they're all part of my heart. So um, I did. Yeah, I, I wrote the song initially about my sister, and then it sort of went from there to something else, into you know every mm-hmm. relationship that I've ever been to. And I started looking back in my relationships and some mm-hmm. things that maybe I did wrong, that yep. maybe I, I didn't realize I was doing wrong at that time. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting to see, you know, sometimes maybe if I left that equation, it would okay. have been a better relationship. Yep. You know, they would have been better off if yeah. I just left. So sometimes it's about, you know, looking at yourself and be like, you know, I was wrong. There's nothing That's wrong with true. that. Yeah, I was wrong. I, I can do better. Yep. So for me, that's that's what leaving is about, really. Yeah. yeah, people have to learn before when you're doing something wrong in your life, and then you learn. 
Yeah, you yeah. learn. Yeah, but that's that's the idea of life. You yes. learn. You have to that's learn. That's life, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, you can't think that you're going through life and think I'm always right. Yeah, I'm not always right. I know that. Yeah. Sometimes I'm wrong, but I have to realize what I did wrong. And yeah. Can I get better? The yep. next relationship, I can be better and better and better. That's true. And that's the idea. That's how we evolve. Yeah. That's the journey of life. Yeah. And that's what living is about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's living is, uh, you know, it's your perfect tone, um, perfect um, music. Leaving was a beautiful, beautiful uh, collaboration with, with my brother. Yes. Uh, and then I just surprised too because, ah, Crazy Titles is uh, featuring with Aubrey. Aubrey I just yeah. curious, huh? What's happened yeah. with them? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, uh, uh, I don't think it was only about Aubrey. I think it was about myself and my relationship with people. Mm-hmm. But um, it was a collaboration between Aubrey and, mm-hmm. uh, and Bufang Zhu, who was a producer. And and um, um, we, we, we tried to create something that we all believed in. Yeah. And that we all like sort of can sort of look back and, and smile on. Uh, for me, it's not about selling records; it's about sell, uh, selling honesty, selling some, something that's that can create something beautiful. And that's yeah. that's, that's what it was. And that's what it was. Okay, uh, uh, Arkham, uh, can you tell us a bit, especially for uh, all my followers and then subscribers, is like uh, about your uh, background of your music? Sorry, about background, background, your music of your background, music. Yes. Uh, background. My background in music, I think I've I've done a lot of different genres. I do a lot of reggae. I do a lot of soul. Oh, uh, I haven't had any any classical background. Mm-hmm. I haven't studied music at all. Um, but for me, I, I grew up listening to some beautiful music, mm-hmm. and that sort of inspired me to create music. Uh, boys, boys to men. Boys to men. As ah. yet, you know, ah. um, Casey and JoJo. Um, yeah, Casey music, and JoJo. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Music Soul Child, Sam Cooke, Otis Redding. Sam um, Cooke. Sam Cooke. Yeah. Sam Cooke is a beautiful voice, beautiful uh, beautiful tone, yes. Beautiful direction. Um, James Brown. I have yes. a lot of different musicians I listen to. Uh, even sometimes I listen to some alternative Lenny Kravitz. Uh, you know, uh, Creep, uh, Radiohead. Radiohead, yes. Radiohead, yeah. Nineties. Yeah, nineties. Nineties. Yeah, nineties. Yeah, no, that's not. Some might not know. Yeah. <laughs> some might not know. But <laughs> but there's a, a lot of different genres that inspired me. So mm-hmm. my background in music is not really in classical, mm-hmm. but it's about it being exposed to different musics that nice. made me who I am. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's I think that's that's a different way to look at it. We all have different fingerprints, and this is my mm-hmm. fingerprint is different musics. Yeah. Uh, what does uh, your creative process looks like? Um, again, I think I think it's really based on uh, again first maybe maybe chords it might be just the lyrics that comes to mind and for me I always like to take walks and when I think about music for me it's not about staying stationary yeah. for me it's about, about taking walks going somewhere mm-hmm. where, where there's a bit of nature it could be yeah. a little forest it could be some trees but somewhere where I can I can be a peace of mind mm-hmm. and that I can create something I believe in yeah uh, but staying stationary for me is always difficult to to create something beautiful so for me it's always about that. You have a plan for uh, the next song, or I do. I have actually mm-hmm. four or five songs that I have ready. Mm-hmm. I have a song called Dreams, a song called Solid, a song called Muse, mm-hmm. uh, a song called um, um, I said Dreams already. There's one more song I can't remember what it's called, but I have a few songs that I have that are ready. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of getting that right production into it to make it into life. Because mm-hmm. that really matters to me. Because you can always create songs uh, every day, but for me, it's creating the right song that has the the idea that I had mm-hmm. in mind, and put it into you know into sound, into into to sonic uh, idea. Okay, and, and that's what it is. So I do have some songs coming up. Featuring with your brother too, or. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Uh, we, we're, talk, we're, we're trying to figure it out. For me, like again, it has to be very organic. It has to be real. It has to be mm-hmm. original. It has yeah. to be something we both believe in. I don't want to create something cheesy, like just because, oh, yeah, just because we we're siblings. Oh, let's yeah, do something. Yeah. No, no, it has to be something beautiful. That's something real and that comes together. So you have to. You, your, your dream is a show to people like uh, this is Arkham. It's not because uh, Aubrey is my brother, right? No, I, I, th- I think. <laughs> And I think a lot of people don't know that Aubrey's my brother. Oh. A lot of people don't know. So, guys. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. And I think, uh, for me, that's very important because I want to build myself off on my yes. own 
uh, credibility, my own ground. Um, I must say I'm not proud that he's my brother. I'm very proud he's my yes. brother. But there's a, you know, they have to keep a separation there where I'm building myself up because I believe in what I'm doing. Yeah. And I on a, on a, have a basis of my own music, my own soul, my own, you know, my yeah. own, uh, my own um, productivity. Mm-hmm. And, and my brother's obviously a part of me, but I have to keep that very separate. So I, I, I don't, when I perform, I don't use my last name. I don't use Alabri. My, la- my last name is Alabri. Yeah. Which is Abri's last, <laughs> which is Abri's um, band name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't use my last name. I just use Arkham. <laughs> Just use Arkham. That's why Arkham, it makes me, yeah. you make us surprise here <laughs> <laughs> today. <laughs> but, yeah, that is, yeah, but yeah, no, I'm very proud of my brother. I love him to death, but we have to yeah, keep a separation there. Oh, now no, we know when you smile and then we just recognize your smile the same with your brother's <laughs> smile. <laughs> oh, very similar, very similar. Yeah, similar. <laughs> okay, Arkham, what else do you have uh, planned for the future of your music career? I have a lot of things planned for the, for, for the rest of this year. I uh, have a, a few uh, collaborations I'm working with. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one's out tomorrow mm-hmm. um, with... Uh, a uh, group called Music Travel Love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, they are coming out with a song that we worked on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tomorrow on the uh, 7 p.m. inshallah. 7 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, yeah, 7 p.m. tomorrow. I think it might be 7 p.m. U.S. time. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. But it was a collaboration with us and uh, um, Abu Dhabi um, DCT mm-hmm. uh, put us together and it created something beautiful and it's been humbling being part of that. Yep. And I have a m- few more things that I'm working on to sort of Okay. Create something a bit more interesting. Nice. Some international gigs, maybe some some festivals. So it's 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 a beautiful journey. I can't complain. I'm just I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying just the journey. Enjoy your journey, right? I'm enjoying the journey. I'm enjoying <laughs> the journey. I'm supremely humble that you know, all these things are happening, but it's just part of the process. But the most important thing is because you're coming as a musician, and then. Um, we all know you are a lovely person, good person. That's the most important kind of thing. Yes. Very kind of you. <laughs> yes, because sometimes when you have a good uh, music or uh, whatever you have, but it's not um, plus with the things, like it's difficult for you growing up, uh, yeah, yeah. difficult for you build your music career in the right, music right. industry. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, f- for me, again, I think I, I, I'm... I like to build my own road, and sometimes um, it, it just means doing things that people aren't used to. Yep. And that's like performing with a condora. Yep. I think for me it's very important because yep. this is who we are. This is yep. who I am. Yeah. And it's about showcasing who I am. That's true. Um, and I think that's that's part of trying to figure things out. It's yep. all it's all part of the process. Yeah. And so it's, it's a beautiful part of the process. It's all, and I hope to inspire the youngins, the, the youth. Yes. To do the same thing. Be yeah. who you are. Be as authentic yes. as possible. But create something that's also authentic. Because once once you know who you are, yeah. anything you create becomes authentic as well, right? Exactly. I think a lot of youth now they're um so distracted by different things. Yeah. That they don't know who they are. Yeah. And then everything they produce is not is, is also as convoluted. Yes. Right? So once you know who you are, you can produce things that you believe in. Yes. And it's all process. It's all first, you have to believe yourself first. Yeah, sure. Comfortable, yeah. and then you do if, or do your best because we never know who's coming for watching you, right? That's true. Yeah. Mm. That's true. <laughs> and I, th- I think, I think, um, especially, especially now, I think, um, I'm, I'm. It took me a long time to find my space. Yeah. And sometimes that's fine. Mm. And sometimes it's fine, but I didn't have anybody guide me to find the space. Yes. I like to. I'm saying I can guide anybody, but yeah. I like to be able to at least offer some help. Yes, you know I'm I'm not, I'm not exactly sorry. Yes, okay. I'm not exactly perfect. <laughs> Apologize for that. <laughs> I'm not exactly um, where I like to be, but I I like to know that at least I know what direction I'm going into. Yes, that's important. Because uh, for all musicians or for uh, people like uh, have a good talent. Just we're talking about the moment, good mm. moment. Mm. So no need to push so hard. Yeah. Just do the best. That's do true. your best. Yeah, that's be true. yourself. Okay. True. Um, I come. What advice would you like to inspiring a musician? I think, like I said, I think it's very important to define who they are first. 
Yes. And once you find who you are, everything just falls into place. What's your purpose? Yep. And I think that's a question that nobody likes to ask themselves. What's your purpose? Yes. Everything in, in this world has a purpose. Everything from the ants to bacteria, everything has a purpose. Yep. So why do we not look for our purpose? We find we, we find that we strive through this life looking for different things, looking for materialistic things, looking for, you know, validation. Yep. But we don't don't look within us and ask ourselves, what what is our purpose? Like why are we here for? Mm-hmm. For how long however long are we here for? What are we, what are we here for? Maybe it's to make one person smile. Maybe it's to make one person feel something. Yep. But the idea is to find that. Mm-hmm. And then once you find that, then everything is just, there's no more anxiety. There's no more, you know, depression. There's no more nothing. It's just, it's, it's about living that purpose. And for me, yes. that's, I think it's very deep. Yep. So for me, again, I, I think it's finding who you are, what your purpose is, and just live your purpose. Yep. And sometimes it's not easy doing that because you, you're going, sometimes you go against the grain. Yeah. You know, people aren't happy about you doing that. Yeah. Or they feel like, oh, that's, that's so strange. It's not. Yes. The world is such a strange place. Yes. Such a strange place. You adding some more strangeness when it's actually truth is fine. Yes. Find your, find your, find your place, find your purpose and move with it. I think that's very important. So I hope, I hope the youngers, the youth can yes. find that. Yeah. And they can find that, then we'll all be happier. Yeah. Okay, the last question, Aubrey. Uh, Arkham. Well, uh, no, I mean the Arkham. <laughs> Because no, She's I feel Aubrey. like I'm talking with Aubrey. I'm She's sorry. Aubrey. <laughs> sorry, Arkham. <laughs> We gotta make this interview happen. <laughs> So, <laughs> the last question, Arkham. <laughs> uh, who's musician you love or collaborate with? Uh, musician I love to collaborate with. <laughs> I think probably Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill? Lauren Hill. Oh, I, I my love God. Lauren Hill. Uh, is it dead or alive or does it matter? Yeah. Dead or alive? Someone who's passed away already or somebody who's still alive? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lauren Hill then. I think Lauren Hill, mm-hmm. um, if, if we're saying dead, then I'd probably say Bob Marley. Bob Marley already. <laughs> Bob Marley. <laughs> I love Bob Marley. Um, maybe Sam Cooke, Otis Schroeding. But for me, the first person I would think of offhand is definitely Lauren Hill. Mm-hmm, Lauren mm-hmm. Hill's amazing. So I definitely want her yeah, to okay. collaborate with. Nice. And she's a proper musician. She's yes. she's disciplined. She knows yes. what she's doing. She's, she's nope. enjoying herself. So, yeah. She knows everything was was it up. Yeah, yes. she's a beautiful singer. She's a yes. rapper, you yeah. know. And she's she's a composer. She she knows what she's doing. I love that. And for me, she also has a very deep message. All those songs have messages to it, yeah. you know. From Zion, yeah, to Zion is a deep song about her son. At the time, she's having a, a child when yeah. she's uh, at the peak of her career, That's and they're asking her about you know, do you want to do this or do you want to you know have yeah. a child? And she sang a song about that, and I love that. So for me, yeah, definitely Lauren Hill. Okay. <laughs> Please spill just a little bit one from your f- new song. New song? Yes. Oh, uh, um. Just spill. Should I do a new song? Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Like, I guess we could do leaving then. Um, mm-hmm. um, I wish I had a guitar on me as well. Ah. But, but no guitar. It's fine. I it's think fine. they have a guitar here. Yeah? It's fine. We can do a cappella. It's fine. Not an issue. Um, I don't share much my baby Cause I don't know what to say Sometimes I felt that I, I didn't deserve you So I'm leaving, I'll be on my way Leaving memories that we have made Yes, I'm leaving I'll be on my way Leaving memories we have made Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I was off. I was off. Oh my okay. God! What's the stone? What are you well, eating, bro? I, I I'm actually vegan. <laughs> 
He's like alien coming from different planet. <laughs> yeah, Tony is amazing. But thank you so thank much, you so Arkham, much. for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I, I appreciate really, it. I really, really appreciate your it's been a time. Pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs> so happy. And then hopefully your guys at home. <laughs> This is Arkham. You always ask. <laughs> uh, direct message me. And then I'll come already here for all of you guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Very Hopefully kind of you. Hopefully your career will be a boom, 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 boom in success. I, I hope I can spread my music uh, to the world and I'll be happy then. And then hopefully uh, you can, you, uh, we, we have a dream for you. You can invite us if you release your new song. Of course, yeah, of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have a new you. song soon. I'll, I'll invite you, of course. Thank you so And much. And everybody else as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys. Ready to talk from MNK Studio, Dubai. See you next episode and bye-bye. Thank you, bye.